Hi ladies, it's Trisha and I just want to share a quick project with you today. Um, it's a gift that I've made for somebody. Um, I made this gift for Vicky, that's Verbacken on, here on YouTube, that's V-A-B-A-K-K-E-N, Verbacken, I hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, <laughs> so I've made this, this gift for Vicky, and Vicky loves fairies, so I decided I was going to make her a fairy box. So I just took one of these plain wooden boxes and I painted it cream all over, including the bottom. And because she loves fairies, I decided to use one of the pages from um, Graphic 45, Once Upon a Springtime, because that's got lots of fairies in it. So this is the paper, and you all know and love it, I'm sure. Um, so it's got lots of fairies in it. So. so I put the paper on, but what I did on the fairy wings, I've um, glittered them. So they're all nice and sparkly. I don't know how well that's picking it up. Yeah, it might be. And apart from that, I didn't want to put anything on, on the paper because it is so beautiful. Uh, so then I just edged it in this braiding, cream braiding, and then I used a uh, pearl trim all the way around the box. Okay, so on to wrap around the box, I, I used this. Um, so it's uh, eyelet lace and I ran this peach ribbon through here all the way around and this I think I got this from Fiona actually this peach ribbon yeah I did so that fitted perfectly through the eyelet and then I just added one of my handmade flowers just to finish it off and on the inside, I used another one of the, the papers in the base with the fairies and rabbits. This paper is so cute. And then in the top, I used the, the postmark one with the fairies. And then just put bead trim to line it all the way around. I love this paper. <laughs> um, so that's the box I made for Vicky. And I really hope she loves it. I'm sure she will because she loves fairies. <laughs> so I'll just sit that there a minute. I did make her a small book box to go with it. And again I used the, the fairy paper. And I did cover the back as well. I don't know if it's picking that up, but I, I painted it all cream, but I have put very pale pink Distress Ink on it, just to give it a little bit of colour. And then this is a spray I made using um, just some pearls and some wild orchid craft flowers. And I'm quite pleased, I think it looks really cute. And I just added ribbon to, to hold it closed. I'm just going to open it up because what I've done inside is I've made a little stick pin window. I love making these. <laughs> I can't, I, almost all my projects have these little stick pin windows in, especially boxes. <laughs> but, um, so that's, and again, I've used packing foam inside here in this bit. And that's some stick pins I made. Um, so that's for for Vicky too. So um, I won't upload this until Vicky gets it. Um,
because I want it to be a surprise and um, I really hope she likes it. Um, I did also make a box for Chris that's um, a, scra a scrappingidea.com here on uh, YouTube and I have already posted her box off um, but unfortunately my video has corrupted so I'm not going to be able to upload a um, video of the box that I made Chris. I'm really sad <laughs> um, because it was something completely outside of my style um, but I'm sure Chris will do a video um, and I'll add it I'll add it to my favourites so um, if any of you want to see it you can go watch it there because um, it's a completely different style to what I'd normally do so um, if you want to see the box that I made Chris um, I'll add it to my favourites if she does a video <laughs> anyway that's all I want to share with you and um, I hope you like it and I hope you like the little stick pin book and um, Vicky I hope you love them I had great fun making them for you so bye for now ladies <laughs>